Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to move apps to your SD card on the LG X Power. Now, before I start the video, I always do a disclaimer, which is that not all apps can be moved to your uh, external storage or your SD card. There's only certain apps that are programmed by developers to be able to be moved to your external storage. So in the video, I'm going to show you an app that you can move, an app that you can't, so you can understand how to check your apps and see which ones you can move, move the appropriate ones and which ones you just can't move. So let's start with an app you can move, which is Netflix. Okay. Swipe down, upper right corner, go to your settings under the general tab, go down to apps. And then we're going to swipe all the way down until we get to Netflix. Here's Netflix. Tap there, tap on storage. And then right here, it'll say storage used, internal storage. And then I can tap on the change button and I can tap SD card. And then I would hit move and that's the last step. It would then move the app from the internal storage of the phone onto the external SD card, okay? Now, I wanna show you what Hulu looks like. So for Hulu, tap on there storage but you'll notice there is no change button there's no option I can't even tap the button to see the memory card so that's how you know Hulu is not programmed to be moved to your external storage it only works on the internal storage it doesn't even give you the option okay I'm gonna go back one more time just so you guys can see what Netflix looks like and basically this is all you need to know storage and then see that storage used and change. So now you know how to check to see what apps you can move and you can't. Obviously the ones you wanna move, move them, and the ones that you can't, don't worry about it. There's nothing you can do. Now, this is sort of like the clean way to do this. Uh, from what I hear, there are other ways to move apps. Um, if you root the phone or do other things, but I try to show you the easiest way to do it without rooting or tampering with the phone. This is just the cut and dry way you would do it if you didn't want to like risk your phone getting messed up by rooting. Anyway guys, I hope you did find this helpful. Hit that like button if you did find it helpful. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also follow us on Instagram at HG Tech Videos. We do monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. So check us on there. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one.